Hey everyone, welcome back to Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. Now I'll switch over to my new gunning set, uh, same gun that I've had for a little while, I love this thing. New armor, however, is the s wrong button. It's the Silver Rathalos armor. Now I've got this fully upgraded. Can't upgrade it anymore, so 49 defense per piece, best I'm going to get. And as for my, uh, these are my food skills that I got. As for my uh, actual uh, skills here, I managed to gem the attack up medium that it started with up to, I think it started with attack up medium? I don't remember. Got it up to attack up large. Sadly, I need one single slot more than I currently have to be able to get critical eye to plus three, so I'm just leaving it at plus two here. Also have weakness exploit from uh, the, the armor here. And uh, normal up. So considering I tend to use normal shot 2 with this, rapid firing, that's a really nice skill to have with weakness exploit and just a base 20 affinity as well, because that's what, uh, that is what the uh, critical eye plus 2 does, 20 affinity. So 70 affinity when I'm hitting a weak point, it is very nice. So we are going to be going off against good old Jay Leno over here. <laughs> um... Oh, dang. Um, don't think this is going to actually be a problem, but I think I'm going to do this just for the sake of... Uh, just for the sake of things here, I'm going to grab some cold drinks. I don't think I'm going to actually go into using them. But I want to be sure just in case. So we're going to go hunt an Uragon. He's got quite the chin. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, yeah, let's take some barrel bombs and who cares about the pickaxes. Alright, I don't know where he's going to start because of the cutscene, but he's usually in 5, 6, or 7. Like he's He likes to be in 7 quite frequently, but I don't know, I think he might start in 6 because of uh, the cutscene. So I'm just going to head my way over to 6, and uh, I'm going to be going through 7 to get there this way, so uh, we'll find out if he's, he's actually hiding in, uh, in 7 here or not. He is not. Alright. So I'm just prepping water shots because he is weakest to water, followed by dragon. Or is he weakest to dragon? He's weak to dragon, water, and ice. Uh, I, I don't know if dragon is his primary or secondary, but... Water and ice are also very good against him. As is poison. If you're capable of using poison on him, it's very effective. And this is Uragon. Loves that chin. And if you are familiar with Monster Hunter World, and you fought him in that game, the tremor effect that he does in this game is a joke in comparison to what World does. Oh. Maybe I should keep track of how many shots I've fired. So, as you can see, his arms, pretty good place to shoot, as I'm getting crits on that. And again, I do have a 20% affinity with this weapon because of my critical eye skill, but considering how many crits I was getting there, fairly safe to say that was most likely a weak point. Yeah. 
Now his chin also becomes a weak point, or his head I should say, once you break his chin. However, the likelihood of me breaking his chin is fairly small. The best way to do that would be using a, a hunting horn or a hammer, using impact stuff on it. Charged attacks with a hammer, the level 3 charge. Oh, I did not actually mean to leave the room. So this attack that he's doing right now, it is very easy to avoid. You just walk over about here, and he can't possibly hit you. I already know, because of the direction he was going, that uh, it was already safe to come out. If you ever see him dig, he's either leaving the area, but in this area, he's going up top. Because he, he just rolls to, to leave the area, this area. He's angry. I don't want to reload right now, because the second I do, he's just going to roll on top of me. I just broke his chin, so never mind what I was saying about probably not breaking it, apparently <laughs> shots are a good way to break his chin, I was not aware of that. Fire fart, he also has a sleep fart if I remember right. Oh, that still got me. is dumb stuff for me, pal. Of course. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking would happen there. Oh, right under his chin. Continue with the ice shots now. Oh! Yep. <laughs> Did not realize I was literally beside a wall there. Okay, at first that looked like he was limping. He is not. He also sleeps in here, so even if he was limping... I don't know where I'm going with that thought, to be honest. Even if he was limping, he'd still be... He would still limp, roll out, get out, and then try to come back in here. I don't know. I was not expecting him to throw those so far. if I miss that second shot. Well, normally I get annoyed when the minions shoot hit me with something, but in this case, I would rather get spat on by that guy than rolled over by Uragon. Oh my god, I can't aim. I was lucky. Could have just rolled over me there. He's too far away now. Oh man, 
little guys, your rock tours, you guys are really annoying, you know that? Okay, I thought I got hit with that first one, apparently I somehow dodged it. Huh. I was not expecting him to dodge that quickly. Maybe he was actually limping out of there, wow. So yeah, uh, that's Uragon. Um, thank you, Yoroktor. You got four cars from him. Something I never actually got to show off because he never tripped. Uh, if he trips over onto his onto his side, usually when he's hungry and he starts to roll around, he'll just fall over. But if you also manage to do enough damage to make him trip, uh, you can run around to his back and mine him, which is why there were old pickaxes in the uh, in the box. Yeah, that's that's Aragon. Um, watch out for his chin. He's really easy if you gun him. <laughs> like, I don't find him difficult at all using uh, using guns on him. Pierce weapons or pierce shots and piercing arrows if you're using a bow work very good on him as you can probably guess. Uh, it's pretty easy to shoot down his entire body. But yeah, poison's effective, ice is good, water is definitely better, and then dragon is also good, but I'm not sure if it's better than water or if it's on par with ice. I don't remember. But that uh, that is a victory screen right there. Shot to the face. Right in the eye, almost, it looks. Uh, I don't need those. Lava nuggets, I'm fine. Let's take some more of your uh, stuff, Aragon, because I really don't have much. Oh, I got a marrow and a jaw. I know I, I saw that I uh, carved a scoot from him as well. Sure, why not? Let's just grab everything. So I'm going to run down to the farm, take care of that off-camera, and I will meet you back for uh, for probably the double baggy quest, actually, just to get it over with. So I'll see you soon. Okay. Well, I'm all set and ready, and I did mention in an earlier episode that I made Kuropeko's hunting horn, and I would use it eventually. Well, this is it. <laughs> it's uh, sadly not high rank yet. Still need some more parts from High Rank Kuropeko, which I honestly, there's no reason why I shouldn't have already gotten that by this point. I've got a really good quest for hunting a High Rank uh, regular Kuropekos, so I should probably do that. <laughs> but uh, this is his hunting horn. It's a lot of healing uh, on this horn, actually. I just uh, to sort of show it off here: health recovery small, medium, hearing protection. So like, yeah, it's uh, it's a good horn. Yeah, I don't care. don't care about pellet shots. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. That sounds great. So we've got two of these guys running around on the map. And one of them, I believe, is probably just going to be right there in two. maybe? There's there's usually one in two here. Huh. Well then, let's go on an adventure, shall we? If, there's no, if there isn't one in four, I'm just going to go up to seven. There should be one there. Oh, hi! this. I don't remember what song this is. Health recover small. Well, that's the, the medium one as well. Okay. Of course, Bullfango. Why wouldn't there be Bullfango in here? Ow.
Yay! I hate Bofango. Oh good, he's tired. You're in the entrance. Get out of the entrance. Stop standing in the entrance. Oh my god, get out of the entrance. Oh my free... Oh, welcome to Brain Damage Monster Hunter, everyone. <laughs> Alright, seriously, get out of the entrance, Baggy, come on. Gato, get over here. Oh my god. Seriously. Over here. Hi. Okay. For a second, I actually thought I'd killed him. I had not. Alright, let's go finish off this one that decided to run away. And that's how you use an energy drink to wake up from being put to sleep. Can you stop? And there we go. There's one down. And I'm going to grab these because I think I need some of his parts for... Uh... That's a lie. I don't. <laughs> I, I no longer need his parts for anything. I need uh, I need a rare from, from the high rank version of, uh, of the Bird Wyverns. That's what I need. Oh, hi. I did not see you. I love that, just launch a little one. Thanks, Bullfango. I appreciate that.
Uh, I like this hunting horn. It's funny. Where are you? There you are. Thank you, cats. You were useful for once. Stop freaking out on me. How did I miss him? Why? Why do they always get tired standing in the entrance? I know you're hungry, but that doesn't mean you can just ignore me. Thank you, Baggy. trying to do. I got slapped the second I pulled it out. Alright. Okay. So cal calm down. Thank you. Oh, One hit left. That would have been great if my song hit killed him. So now I don't know if it actually works this way, but I know the hunting horn in Monster Hunter World, the more, uh, it, like, if you're playing, like, doing any of your attacks to play a song, if you actually have a song queued up, it does more hits and more damage based on how many notes the song is. So if you queue up a four-note song, you'll actually get four hits off your, uh, uh, off your, the animation for your attack, even if it's, like, uh, a quick swing or something like that, it actually will, like, pulse and hit multiple times. I don't think that's a thing in this game, but I kind of wonder... Hey, look, this is great. And look how they died together. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I love this hunting horn. Oh my god. So there's baggies. Nothing new to them. Oh, okay, I got at least one King's Crest. Ah, oh, Mystery Charm. That's gonna be crap. Why did I take the Mystery Bone? Perception 8. Actually, I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> That's. I'm probably never going to use it, but why not? Hey, one of them was big. I didn't even notice. Well, that is going to bring us to a close for today, because once again, I'm seeing what time we're at here, and no point in, uh, in starting a third hunt for now. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully you'll come back next time. Yeah, another egg. To see what we go through next. So until then, take care, you here.